Hi, my name is Ziyang. I am representing my group to make an intro to our assignment. The title of our assignment is Manufacturing Process of Nitra Girl. There are four members in our group who are Yi Hui, Xing Yi, Sutesh and me. Malaysia is well known as its manufacturing process of rubber girls as it is world largest producer of rubber girls. It contributes around 60% of the overall world market in the rubber girl. This is because Malaysia is rich in the more raw material of rubber girl. There are different types of rubber girls nowadays in the market. Different types of rubber girls have the different manufacturing process. Nitra girl is one type of rubber girl. It is made by synthetic rubber, which is also known as a human-made rubber. It has a good resistance to chemical. It can prevent latex allergies because it is free of natural latex. This assignment is named as Manufacturing Process of Nitra Group is to propose a suitable control system on this heating system in order to improve heating efficiency and to prevent heat loss. The manufacturing process of Nitra Group can be is separate into few stages, which are the cleaning stage, dipping stage, heating, and ditching stage. First of all, the former will undergo the cleaning process in order to remove the dirt that left on the former surface. After that, the former pass through the dripping station to remove the excess moisture on the former surface. Then the former dip into coagulant tank until certain depth. The coagulant tank contain of calcium nitrate solution and antitech which are calcium carbonate. The calcium nitrate solution is used to pick up the latex during the latex dripping. The former then enter the coagulant oven to dry the coagulant firm. After dripping into the latex then, a certain thickness of compound latex is picked up on the former surface and then the former pass through the gilding oven. The purpose of this oven is to dry the latex firm sufficiently for beading to tapers. The former is then dripped into the pre leaching tanks that contain continuous overflow of hot water to remove the chemical residue from latex firm. After that, the temperature level of the main oven as an important factor to vulcanize the gloves or to the optimum level. Before the former drip into the chlorine tank, the cooling tanks are required to cool down the former to prevent the evaporation of chlorine solution due to the low boiling point of chlorine solution. Before the glove is done, it is dripped into the rinsing tank and post leaching tank to rinse off the residual chlorine and chemical residue from the glove. The slurry oven is the final stage of this process it is to dry the glove surface and after the leaching process. Based on the manufacturing of nitrile glove, a biomass boiler is taken in account because about 80% of the glove manufacturing process requires heat energy to heat up the temperature of solution and to maintain the temperature of ovens. Basically, a biomass boiler is used to heat up a solution called thermal oil by using bio-waste products such as wood chips as combustion fuel. The piping system in the boiler will be heated, thus the flowing thermal oil in it will absorb the heat energy. To produce greater heat energy, the speed of the conveyor belt is increased, which will increase the fuel intake for the combustion. The heated solution is then transported from the boiler through a well-insulated piping system to the production line in which it will branch to a coiled piping system around the oven. Air flow is introduced from the blower under the oven to heat the oven via blowing air through the heated coiled piping system. However, to operate the process, there are two different ways. One is manually controlling the instruments and another is to use a control system. There are differences between both these methods. By using manual control, it requires manpower to control flow rate of thermal oil and collect data time to time. Besides, it's low cost for a short term usage and very costly for long term usage due to the losses or waste such as heat energy, water, chemical and so on. Even though this method requires less installation and instruments, yet it takes longer time to start up the instruments. On the other hand, 
Using a control system has its own perks. It is fully automated by the applied parameters and it interacts with control machines through softwares. It also minimizes the waste online as it can detect and respond to situation very fast. Therefore, it significantly reduces startup time for instruments. Last but not least, using a control system delivers user-friendly interface as the data extracted will be projected in the form of diagram and graphs. Immersion Distributed Control System is a computerized control system for a process or plant in which control elements are distributed throughout the system. Is totally integrate all the control and optimize the solution to increase the productivity, reliability, and quality while minimize the cost. It reduces impact from loss of system components and ensures production continuity. So temperature is one of the load in the boiler. The temperature of steam supplied by utility. Boilers provide a very large impact on process operation. In the at temperature, steam is mixed with water to regulate the temperature of steam assist, assisting the boiler. Immersion distributed control system has been engineered to improve control response for recovery from process saturation. Immersion delta V is a distributed control system used in industry process control. Immersion Delta V V V eleven control system is used for the boiler. It's a lambda turning to give smooth fast set point and lock response without oscillation. So the PID plus al algorithm controls delivers improved performance using intelligent device information and enhanced PID plus algorithms. PID plus parameter recovery field is used to adjust the anticipation for the volume of one is shown known anticipation and for at, and the value of zero is shown full anticipation. It, this parameter is used to avoid SP overshoot when recovering from process saturation. If the steam generation exceeds the temperature capacity, the boiler outlet steam Temperature will assist the outlet set point with the spray valve fully open. When the boiler combustion rate is re reduced, the injection valve value should decrease as the outlet temperature decreases. When PID plus is enabled, the valve moves before the PV reaches the SP, thereby providing an improvement response by reducing the steam generation by 50%. While talking about the advantages of control system, there is also a reason why implementing a control system in a process plant is extremely important. According to a real case study, a major failure occurred on the mainstream pipes of a boiler in a process plant. The boiler used in this case was designed for a pressure of 65 bars and at a maximum temperature of 495 degrees Celsius and the steam pipe was made of suitable material and size. Referring to the standard IBR calculation, this unit was suitable for this service condition. However, after the failure occurred, the pipes were being inspected by the plant personnel and the pipes were seen bulged. It was found that the steam pipe's outer diameter has grown from an initial diameter of 168mm to 210mm, in which the diameter of the pipe had expanded 42mm in total. The bulging of pipe had indicated the pipe was not being able to withstand with the service pressure under the present steam condition. After further inspection, the steam temperature was found to increase drastically up to 520 degrees Celsius as seen from the logbook. Also, it was found that for the past one year, the steam temperature has gone up beyond the design temperature on many occasions due to the high amount of fines in coal. All these extremely high temperatures were the cause of this failure to happen where the pipes were not able to withstand with such high temperature. This unfortunate incident happened because the design temperature limits are not known by the operating team. Without knowing the limitations, the operating team will never pay attention to the temperature of the boiler throughout the process and this is very dangerous where it might have a chance to lead to a worse scenario such as explosions. Therefore, by implementing a control system in the process plan, it will provide a pre-setting on the control temperature. 
Hence, maintaining the temperature of the boiler to meet the set point and not to exceed the limitation in order to improve the efficiency and to reduce heat loss. As for the conclusion, in order to take over the high demand of latex glove in the market for long term, it is important to have a well-developed manufacturing plant with a suitable control system. Process control plays an important role in maintaining the output of a specific process within a desired range. Biomass boilers are the primary source of the steam and hot water generation in the manufacturing plant of nitro gloves where steam demands varies frequently according to the requirements. Therefore, a well-designed boiler must be capable to giving immediate response to these load demand variations while maintaining its efficiency and safety features at the same time. In this case, temperature of the biomass boiler is the ultimate factor to be controlled as to ensure the product produced meets the desired requirements as well as reduce the unnecessary waste. By introducing the Emerson Delta V V11 distributed control system to the plant, it has the ability to control the temperature by monitoring, analyzing and tuning the control loops for the best performance. With a modern control system, a plant is able to set up the controllers to give fast response to the process and offers the opportunity to maximize the product quality. Hence, by having the temperature under control, it will improve the overall efficiency of the entire process plant while reducing the heat loss from the process. All these positive impacts will bring profitability to the plant. As for recommendation, PID modification for wireless control can be applied to provide the best control for a non-periodic measurement as it reflects the reset contribution for the expected process response.